Hi guys, welcome back to another Munch Pack unboxing video. It is June's Munch Pack. Let's see what we have in store for this month. So, as customary, we'll go in here and it says. Did you know Poland? Poland is home to the Malbor Castle, which is the largest castle in the world by land area. And did you know Pakistan? The official national drink of Pakistan is sugarcane juice. This refreshing drink is usually served with lemon or black salt, ginger, mint, and ice. So, let us see what we have in store for this month. Okay. We have Pipers, made by farmers, Atlas Mountain, Wild Thyme, and Rosemary Crisps. Let's take a look at that. It's from the United Kingdom, right over here. Crunchy, crispy, and full of flavor, these chips are a classic from the United Kingdom. The Wild Thyme and Rosemary flavor is deliciously unique. I'm going to try these, but I'm probably not going to like them. This next thing is called Chili's Potato Sticks Lemon and Chili. That's a definite no from me. I'll put that over there. Those are from... Um, Pakistan. Snack City Chills Chat Pata Potato Sticks. Each spicy and savory potato stick is crisp and delightfully tangy. The lemon and chili flavor will leave your mouth on fire. That's a no. We, here we have Pure Cream. Rolled wafers filled with chocolate and hazelnut. These look really good. So I'm going to put those over there. That's a yes. And this is from the Dominican Republic. Uh, the crisp exterior of these rolled wafers is complemented by a decadent chocolate and hazelnut flavored cream that will absolutely melt in your mouth. Then we have a Susi, Nestle Susi. So let's see what this is. That is from Venezuela. Take a bite of these light and airy wafer cookies with a satisfying chocolate cream filling. You will love this classic Venezuelan treat. So that's a definite yes. Next up, it looks like we have Sankaru crackers. So let's take a look at what those are. These are from Japan. They're vegetable crackers. The Sankuku vegetable crackers are packed with a savory umami flavor. They're great just about any way you eat them. Eat them alone with a soup or mix them into a salad. So I'm going to go with no on that. Next up we have these sour little Adams candies. Which again, I'm not a fan of these uh, little little candy type things, but these are from the United States. They're toxic waste atoms. This treat features bite-sized sour candy pieces with lemon, strawberry, and blue raspberry flavors. It's the yummiest toxic waste on the planet. Next up, it looks like we have Nestle Milo sandwich cookies. They're like little Oreo cookies. These look pretty good. I'll put them over here just in case. And they are from Colombia. This all chocolate sandwich cookie will remind you of hot chocolate in cookie form. They're perfect for dipping in a glass of ice cold milk. We'll try those definitely. This is a Zozoli sp spiral. We've had these before. It's almost like a fruit by the foot, but it's sour. So let's open that up. And that is. Um, here it is. From Poland, the Miesko Zozoli Zelki Spiral. This rainbow colored and chewy jelly candy is jam packed with fruity, sweet, and sour flavors. It's just as beautiful as it is mouth wateringly flavorful. So, we have that. Now, next up, we have a big package here um, Palzuski Crackersome Crixie. So, 
Let's take a look at what these are. Um, green onion. Now this is a definite. Now, crunchy cracker breadsticks with a tasty green onion flavor. Eat them straight from the package or try dipping them in zik, which is a Polish cottage cheese and radish dip. No, that's a shame. That's a definite no. All right, next up we have these Frutella Rainbow. I think they're little hard candies, then I'm chewy candies. Let's see, they added those in. They're from Poland. A sweet way to taste the rainbow, these super chewy candies come in apple, grape, lemon, strawberry, and orange. They look to me like they almost could be like a Starburst, so I'll try them just in case. But what they replaced those with, what we should have gotten... Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So instead of the Frutella Summer Fruit Chews from the Netherlands, we got the Frutella Rainbow ones. The Summer ones would have had fruit flavors and real fruit juice in them including strawberry, orange, and lemon. Yeah, think of the, these as the Netherlands version of Starburst, so I was right on the money with these. What we also could have gotten but did not get if we had upgraded our plan, um, we could have gotten the Tyus Coffee Candy, which, uh, hard candies, no, no interest. The Canals Vaquita Palaton Tira from Mexico. It's a lollipop with caramel, so that's a no. The UHA Puchacho Grape Flavor, or Puchao Grape Flavor. It's a soft candy, so I didn't miss anything there. The Crown Sacom Dalcom Lemonade Flavor. It's another tart candy. I did not miss really anything there. The Olker Dankick 8 Cake. They're spongy cakes. And we would have either gotten a double chocolate one or a strawberry chocolate one, so I would have tried that. The Taito Smoky Bacon Crisps. Uh, so basically they're bacon-flavored chips. I would have tried that. The Pigwe Slaps Tropical Mix Flavor. It's a bunch of lollipops, so nothing missed there. The Lottie Topo Vanilla Chocolate. Uh, they're pretzel sticks with chocolate or vanilla fillings, so I would have tried that there. Another Tato Crisps Beef and Onion. The onion would have not had me eat those. And then the last one is an Alien Volume Muffin Cake with Dates. So that's a no. So we really didn't miss anything that we could have gotten. So I don't feel that left out. The drink is from Colombia. It's called the Manzanza Postabon. And it's an apple flavored soda. Pour it over ice or drink it straight from the container. So that sounds pretty good. <coughs> I like apple flavored things. Okay. So we got 10 items and four of them are a no. So really only 60% of these are maybes. Let's start with what I don't know I'm going to like, these chips. I th want to say I've had these before, and they're pretty good. I didn't think I'd like them, but I ended up liking them. Chips aren't bad, but they're they're like a Cape Cod chip almost, and I never was a fan of those style of chips, the kettle cooked ones. The only chips I really eat are either Doritos or plain um, tortilla chips or um, baked Lay's are delicious, so I like those. Right, let's try one of these Netherlands Starburst type of candies here. This is an orange one.
They're okay. Nothing really special. We're going to eat the zozoli now. Just put it right in our mouth here, the whole thing. There's a lot of fruity flavor in here. All right, let's try this hot chocolate type cookie here. All this is is just a a chocolate cookie with chocolate cream filling. I like them better than Oreos though. So, there's that. All right, let's try these little wafers with the hazelnut and chocolate inside. Careful not to get a lot of crumbs on the tablecloth, but I wasn't successful on that. There's a ton of crumbs now. All right, here we go. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And lastly, we'll eat the Susie bar. To me, these kind of look like the wafers that you can buy at the dollar store. So let's see how they taste. I mean they're okay. I mean they're you know they're not terrible. Um, let's take a look at this apple soda drink. The apple drink is pretty good. All in all, this is really a, a disappointing box, personally, for me. Um, having said that, usually when we get a disappointing box, there are items that were replaced that they replaced it with something I wouldn't eat, or the rest of the items, had I upgraded my box, would have been worth it. But this one is, is funny because even though the box itself was pretty bad, had I upgraded in this instance, I would have been even more mad. So there's, there's I didn't miss anything, if you will, in my opinion. Um, you know, um, this, this is a pretty, pretty rough box.
Oh boy. Well, <clears throat> that is the June Munch Pack unboxing. I want to thank all of you who watch. Please like and subscribe, that'll help me out. Please, uh, if you'd like to comment, you're more than welcome. I always respond, or I try to do my best to respond to everybody, no matter how many comments there are. And um, the next video that should be on the horizon is a Fear Street collection. I will have every Fear Street book ever, and probably by early next week. In a perfect world, I'll have them by Saturday, and I can do the video then, but check for the video most likely early next week sometime. Um, and I'm excited to have all of the Fear Street books, because now I can read them all and say that um, I've, you know, I've finished them all. Um, I knew that in the late 2000s, so I want to say 2008 or so, that 2010, 2011, Arl Stein had written new Fear Street books, and I collect all of them the first day they came out, uh, hoping that one day I'd be able to collect every Fear Street book there ever was, and I'm really excited that I literally have all of them now. Um, I want to say that there are, well, I don't know how many, how many there are right now, I'd have to count them, but I'm going to guess 70 total. Let's see. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 29, 30, 29, 30, 29, 30, 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I'm going to guess 72, 70, I'm going to guess maybe over over 100 or close to 100 Fear Street books. Um, obviously the Goosebumps series has surpassed that. Even if you added in the Ghosts of Fear Street books, Goosebumps has surpassed it with the 62 original Goosebumps books, the 24, 25 Goosebumps series 2000 books, the 19... Goosebumps Horrorland books, um, the six Hall of Horror books, the ten Goosebumps Most Wanted books, in addition to the four Goosebumps Most Wanted special editions, include or ex excluding the Goosebumps Wanted the Haunted Mask special edition. And then right now the 17, the 17th Slappy World book will be coming out at the end of this month, so the 28th. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys that. Um, and very, very slowly but surely we're getting this game room and library up to where it needs to be. And I will be doing a massive uh, game room tour, which I hope you all will join me for and, and take a look at. It'll be exciting, I think, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.